Government Management System is developed in BP6 and MS Access. So for this, you need to have installed Visual Basic 6.0. And once you buy this project, you will get these uh, files, this synopsis, installation guide, project report, and this source code. To open this project, you have to just uh, start your Visual Basic 6.0. I am using Windows 10. So just go to Visual Basic, uh, this one, Visual Basic 6.0. Just right click here, click more, click on run as administrator. Yes. Cancel. Copy this path. I'll open project. This lms.bbc project file in it open. Once you open, you can just go forms and you can view that design of the project. Like this is login form, this is staff form, okay, this is the main window, MBA form. So once uh, everything you can change, if you want to change the design or anything, you can just uh, just click on F4 or like this project you want to add from text here. So save all the changes and run the project. Or for database, you have, you have the data.md file, just open it. You will get the, all the user status like employee ID, login ID. So the user master. So this is that user ID and this is username and this is the password. Okay, so I will use admin. So I'll just start the project. Admin and password Now this is the user master, so if you want to add a new uh, user from the system, so click on new, say so when you get the login ID, user type, so user, department, you can see department, then date of call, so the English ID. Control and so, so. so if you want to <coughs> edit, click on edit. So, so. so I'm going to change password. If you want to change your login password, you can change loan type faster. So if you want to add a new loan type, say I want to add a new loan type, say edit, so new. Say consumer. The rate of interest is fifteen percent. This rate of sum, three closer fine, no fine. Sir. So when we assign any loan to any customer, this will come automatically. No customers. So I want to add a new customer. So I will click on new. The customer name is Priya. Customer account number one zero one zero one zero. Pan number. The customer pan is one the customer. Another number of the customer. Set. The customer ID is three. Now loan master. If I want to give a loan to customer, so there is the option is email calculation also. First I will show you how what is email calculation. So when any customer came and asked, say I want to get a loan of two lakh rupees. And twenty two lakh. And I want to get this loan for say year for seven to this loan for five years. So what will be my interest? So I will say no, I will give you twelve percent. 
if I click on calculate, it will show monthly EMI. The monthly payment the EMI will be this much. <coughs> 4442 total interest i will pay for this 2 lakh loan is 2 lakh 66000 and total customer cost of the loan 2 lakh plus this the total 4 lakh 66000 i have to pay this is the amortization schedule like what is the first month i have to pay the principal interest first month interest will be high and later on you will see that the interest will less and principal will more so I have given the five months, five years. So total instrument will be 65 to 60. So this data we can view and we can tell the customer what will be the EMI, how is the calculation. And this is the export to Excel option is here. So this data can be export to Excel and we can email the customer also. Like this, the whole data is coming to Excel. What is the total loan amount, number of and no interest rate. So if you change that interest rate, like fuel to I will say 15% and calculate the rate, the monthly payment will increase total interest. If I decrease the number of years, then calculate then the EMI will be more. Okay. Now say Abhi, now this customer wants to loan up consumer loan. So if I know the, I will click new then find ID. So if I don't know the ID of the customer, I can just search find. So I know the customer name is Priya. So I will type just P, so it will come. The double click here, it will show the name and the account number, loan type. This is the consumer loan, interest type. So I can fix, automatic 15 will automatically come. Now amount, so I will say amount will be one lakh. loan tenor say so i will say loan tenor will be three years if you show emi it will calculate the emi so we can just check that same as unlock it is three years this will be 15. so five so 15. So 5,192 will be the EMI. Okay. The mortgage details. So what will be the mortgage agent? So 40, so 40. Guardian details. Name. So who will be the guardian? So I want to So new loan is created. So I will show you already. Suppose I want to take the EMI of this particular loan. So I go to the EMI section again the same way ID. So I click on new ID. If I know like I know already four is on my third three is that ID. So click enter. It will come the Priya loan number is four consumer loan. Suppose this customer is taking two loans, so it will drop down will add two loans. So user can select which one. So what is the EMI? So EMI debts. This is the EMI debts generated automatically. So this is the 20, the EMI details has come inside to the set. The query also is there, suppose I want to get the EMI, you know, the customer ID 3. So one EMI is already, he is paid, because I paid. So this is fine. Like I want to do that and it will be save in Excel, I will click on export to Excel. So it will generate Excel file with all the details. So you have the loan details, use the AMI details, everything will come. So it's a very small but very useful project. So this AMI calculation is very complex coding. So it is already developed, so you can just check it is uh, as per that uh, all banks calculation, everything is be done here. Okay, so once we, you purchase this project, you will get all these files, all source code, all the installation guide, project reports, synopsis. Okay.